Hey, what up, what up, guys? It's Mitsu Ospreem. In today's video, I want to talk about Scorpion in Mortal Kombat 11 and pretty much give you a guide for Scorpion. So, in this video, I want to talk about seven topics Scorpion's normals, his strings, his regular specials, his punishes, his variations, anti airs, and finally, the meta. So, by default, Scorpion comes with three variations first is Boon's main, chain reaction, and finally, fire breather respectively so let's start with the basics scorpion has some very interesting normals in mk11 his most important one one of the most important ones anyway will be his standing one it's seven frames fast so this will probably be your main punch another interesting normal is his standing four this will be very important in combos but especially as well for anti airs as we are going to explore that later is back one fantastic range i think starts at 11 frames very good for with punishing as well as his back three which is uh, you know split overhead nice range at low profiles as well so if they're going for like a down four i can crush that high crush not low profile excuse me another good button is a four three which is another mid very very important mid as a matter of fact because this is beautiful on block. It's only minus two, which creates this mind game. What am I going to do? Am I going to stagger that and go for uh, another one and loop it? Or go am I going to for a down one? Am I going for a grab? Very important. Another button, which doesn't look like one normal, is his back two. This is a double hitting normal, which you can special cancel. Beautiful for whiff punishing, especially if you don't find the range with the back one with four three back two should definitely give you the punish another cute normal which should not be underestimated is down four of course very classic down four puts in a nice you know range right there his sweep can be used for trip guarding if you're not sure if it's gonna work you know if they jump and land and you catch them on their recovery frames the sweep should do the job now those were the normals let's get a bit juicier with the strings three hitting string that can be special cancelled after the one one or after the one like i said the one st starts up in seven frames so probably most likely your go to punish as such another string it's four three four which as you could see right there can be a crushing blow his two one two which also can lead to a crushing blow if the combo is at 10 hits or higher. It does damage over time as well. Very good. And of course, the back one for one. Which is unfortunately very unsafe, but it can be once again special cancelled. Another good string is his low starting string, which is the fourth four, two, three. Second hit can be special cancelled once again. And lastly, this ring right here is back one, four, three. So let's talk about his regular specials. Obviously, get over here, his spear, back forward one, you know, no secret behind it. Can amplify it for a full combo for one more, as well as his teleport. Same story there, can be amplified. His down back three and believe it or not those are the regular specials no more slides no more you know shenanigans those are the basic ones so let's start now with the punishes we could do something like this right there good damage i'd say it's okay but obviously you're not, uh, this is not a realistic combo more, most likely, because you are going to equip some abilities. Now let's say the opponent does something very unsafe, like a Nomad Dash or whatever, or even a Scorpion Teleport. Then your go-to punish is the Standing 4, for great damage. It's more damage, I could have spent another bar for the reset, for more damage, for even a Crushing Blow. And uh, yeah, very good button, the Standing 4, that is. Right, so let's get into the variation-specific stuff. Boon's main has some very interesting stuff that has to be allowed. I mean, 
there is no way I can judge this variation just by playing the beta. He gets access to his cancelled teleports. For example, right there, I input the teleport but hold down. And as you can see, very expensive stuff. I mean, this costs two defensive bars. I can do a far away cancel teleport as well. Right there. But realistically, I'm not sure what kind of advantage this gives me if I don't have projectile. In MKX with Inferno, it made sense. But right here, I'm not too sure. The other thing he gets is his air grab. Once again, not too sure what to think of this, because even if I want to anti-air them, I wouldn't go for a grab. Not sure if this is consistent. You can also spend a bar for some more damage. Now, moving on to the chain reaction variation. Very interesting stuff, for sure. One of the main tools is his down forward 4, which is this move right here. As you can see, covers up like one third of the space, really. Highly unsafe, but once again, sick range. You can also enhance it for great chip damage. I think it deals like 10% chip. Fantastic stuff. But you also gain some yeah, strings, if you will. It's 2 1 2 usually, right? It turns into 2 1 2 plus 4 for great damage. Nice combo render. As well as, now this is very interesting. He also gains something for a string. It's for a 3 right there, which is usually this one. 4 3 4. He gets a 4 3 2. Now, why is this interesting? Because the second hit can be special cancelled. Now, usually, from the 4 2 starter, for a 4 3 starter, excuse me, the only way to special cancel it is by committing. So you, you think you're gonna get a whiff punish or something. Now, if you check them, you can actually like shimmy them. See? Uh huh. The second, like the first hit of the chain hits. Now I can go for a combo. Interesting stuff for sure. And finally, his fire breather variation. I think currently this is the strongest default variation so far. He gets access to the so called demon dash. His back for it too. Give me a chance. This right here. This, the insane thing about this is that it starts at 7 frames. If we can look at it right here. Start up 7 frames. So if you see any kind of whiff, a poke, a grab, maybe like an empty jump, you get a punish. I mean, this 7 frames, like obviously point blank, right? If it's there, that's 7 frames. But uh, you have to, you have, you know, spend some time traveling right there. But this makes stuff that is considered safe. His uh, Lekabop, I think it's called, Barakas, is minus seven. So technically you'd need a six frame normal at least. But since the variation or the reversal system works a different way, this becomes a punish. So this right here, insane tool. What else does he get? You know, the toasty stuff. Why is this important? First of all, it deals good chip. Second of all, it creates a great restand. The teleport is not that plus on hit, so it's not necessarily your turn. However, the toasty stuff, the fire breath, very plus. I believe it's plus 18, so it can definitely take your turn. Go for a poke, go for a grab, go for your pressure. Very good stuff, indeed. Right on, so let's move on to the anti-airs. In this game, anti-airing feels good, feels natural, but the jump kicks are still very strong. So for the tricky stuff, I would go still for a down two. If they jump, go for a down two. You can't necessarily go get get a full combo, unless like a, unless it's maybe like a crushing blow, or you get them at the sweet spot. But that is probably like your most reliable anti-air. Otherwise, if you are at the nice range, almost you can go for a standing four into a full combo. Maybe a teleport, maybe a, uh, a spear. Very good stuff indeed. And maybe if you're nice right there, a standing one can also be special cancel, of course into the teleport for a full combo that is probably like currently the go-to options is uh, standing four is down two or a standing one depending on the jump in so with that being said what is the current meta scorpion can definitely space people out his back one like i said his back one you should have no issues confirming that anyway like i said all of his other stuff is unsafe that string is unsafe the ender here right there is unsafe 
So, a back one, not even sure if that is unsafe in itself. But, if you see something coming out, that could be a full combo. If you're not 100% sure, and you can't really confirm it, and uh, if you want something faster, like I said, the Demon Dash, very nice tool for with punishing, or punishing as a whole. And usually your game plan or gameplay with Scorpion would be like buttons into a teleport into a spear into restance. I'm not 100% sure if this is the current meta with Scorpion Mortal Kombat 11 because, like I said, the teleport itself is not that plus. If you're going for Fire Breather, that you can do. But I discovered that the scaling from the spear is absolutely horrible. Like, absolutely horrible. Like, you might as well miss the spear and just go go for a combo like, 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 like this without the spear for good damage. No need for a spear whatsoever, and that is respectable damage for one bar. And uh, yeah, you miss the restand, but you know, the wake ups in this game are not that obnoxious, you know, so you could probably do stuff like, you know, just knock them down, and if you think they're gonna wake up, you have no issue to punish their wake ups, because this back one, like I said, should definitely outspace their wake up options. And Scorpion does seem very unsafe, like I said, this, this, this stuff is very unsafe. Um, his uh, strings, his specials, I mean, his spear, they really outdone themselves. I think it's minus 45, really outdone themselves this time. Like, even if a full screen, you can punish me most likely with, with something. I think Baraka can, well, not full screen maybe, but still um, zone, like full screen. Like, let's say they break out of a combo. You are going to do a, a spear, rest in peace you. Or maybe even if you drop it, they wake up and still punish you. Definitely sick stuff. And like I said, this right here is 4-3. You have to implement that somehow in your gameplay. Because minus 2, a mid that is minus 2 cannot be underestimated one bit. His full screen, his full string, excuse me, 4-3-4, four, four, does have a gap. It does have a gap. If the AI were to play on, on very hard, he would expose me. But that is the mind game. What are you going to do? Are you going to do the full full string? Or are you going to stop and go for a grab, go for a poke, that kind of stuff. And that I think is a rough overview of Scorpion. I like him a lot in this game. I kind of wish he had a faster walk so he would have an easier time against like stuff like Scarlet. Um, against her I have a hard time because of her range and her walk speed herself. But other than that, having insane fun with the character and I for one cannot wait for the release of the game. But yeah, keep an eye out for more Scorpion related stuff. And hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, let me know in the comment section. Hopefully I'll be doing more of these in the coming yeah, days, weeks, months, hopefully years ahead. But with that being said, that's much for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Mitsuo signing out. Peace.